Lots to come on lockdowns and freeing up this country. So let me start with one of the more wacky elements of the coronavirus pandemic. Last month, I told you about a loony pitch being made by Channel 7's Pete Evans. He's the host of My Kitchen Rules and he often spruiks weird diets and the like. And I showed you this bizarre video. It's on my website if anyone's interested. You can go to Pete Evans and then products. But it's, um, we've had it for the last four or five months up at the farm. We use it pretty much every day. It's a, it's a pretty amazing tool. Uh, it'll take you down some rabbit holes, so I won't <laughs> take me an hour or two to explain it. But I do have a podcast coming very shortly. That's running a limitless uh, program that's 30 minutes. And um, so there we go. But uh, just briefly, it's programmed with about a thousand different recipes. There's a uh, couple on there for Wuhan coronavirus. Talk about taking us down some rabbit holes. Yeah, the Wuhan cures or the coronavirus tonics, some such, I don't know. At the time, I said this was pretty disturbing. And a few weeks later, Evans was actually fined $25,000 by the Therapeutic Goods Authority for promoting this light machine. Well, just a postscript today. Channel 7 has now dropped Pete Evans. I guess he was just too bat-flu crazy for them.